Okay, when you're doing these, YouTube, you have to protect yourself from that thing going wham right into your brisket. You try to keep the tree between it and you. So go ahead and, and tickle it down just a little bit. A little more. A little more. A little more. A little more. At some point, it should start to swing. There it goes. Perfect. There it goes. Perfect. You looking at my monkey beaver harness? No. Where's your phone? Uh, it's in my pocket and I'm about to put it in there in a minute. Show the crowd where your phone goes. Yeah, I like to just tuck it right here real quick. Because you spend a lot of time on your phone. Yeah, it's like I need like quick access. You have to keep it close to your heart. And I and I actually practice it too. I practice this. I go from climbing to like a quick draw. Yes, dear. Hey, babe. <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> Love you too. Talk to you later. See you after work. Okay. Probably all I can say that's appropriate uh, for YouTube. <laughs> okay. Love you too. Bye. You're on speaker. <laughs> Ah, the sun is in your eyes, YouTube. That oak's dying and it's gonna come out and the guy wants to mill it, so I'm gonna make a couple logs out of it and make some firewood out of it and chip the rest. Adam, I think they stole your saw or something and they're using it. It sounds like yours. Yeah, what is going on over there? Just so you know, YouTube, that, that sound you're hearing at, in the distance is not us. That is a dull saw cutting dirt. Yeah. Now I feel like I should go look. Just don't keep, please, sharpen that. He's cutting a stump underground or something. <laughs> in the water, also. Damien is gonna probably rig some pieces down and then maybe we'll use the chipper winch and pull the butts into that chipper we need to cut this stump low and he wants to mill the bottom of it too mistletoe dies you know the tree is dead because it's a parasite no life in the host no life in the parasite I've climbed high enough now that the Sun is starting to shine on my black sweatshirt and make me rethink my wardrobe ensemble some people might wonder why we don't flop the whole thing which we could with a high stump but he wants the log off the butt so we can't be cutting the butt log in half and if I cut it low it'd, it'd smack that stuff over there so gotta climb it for the love of the wood okay so this side first and then this side and then that side and we should be able to flop a log at some point
See, so that's been erased. And we've opened up a path for the rope to rig this stuff from the neighbor's side right around and into there. All right, let it down a little. A little more, yeah. Just keep keep feathering it down, yeah. I wish I had a lowering snap. Yeah, you can do this one by hand. Should be able to time it just right. Okay, you're on. You got the whole top, so you might want something, I don't know. Minimal wrap. You're gonna wanna kinda hold it up a bit to clear those arbor vitae and stuff. I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to tuck it right through there. This is a weird one. I'm gonna have to cut it and get it to go like this because of the catalpa tree. It's gonna have to go, whoops. It's gonna have to come off and the butt's gonna have to go that way. I can't do it like this or it'll just hang up. I gotta put my flip line like this so I can pivot around if I need to. Let it down just a touch. Yeah, just tickle it down until it swings down. There you go. Keep it. Keep it. There you go. <laughs> that was legit. That's how the rope man saves you.
Once I've got it cut up, it's gonna be all about your your uh, your thing. Yeah, should I guess we should have put a another rope on it to pull it that way, but that'll work though. If I get impaled, you guys are going to have a perfect view of it. Instead, you get a perfect view of that. Flop the stem and we're done. Thank you. Hey, hurry up! <laughs> you stole all my guys for a while. <laughs> Put you guys right there. All right, now I can make you guys another video. Some of you may remember the beloved Mr. Hunnicky. <laughs> We're gonna show you a pecan bow. Okay, so this is a bow that well, this was a tree that I cut down, and is this the first bow you've made from it? Yeah. Self bow? Okay, let's let's hear about it. Well, it's a 
piece of pecan that's, I think you just cut it a couple months ago, but it leaned against the log pile when we had the 90 and 100 degree weather for several weeks and uh, it dried out pretty well. So anyway, uh, I had to heat treat it on the belly of the bow. Um, it's called torification. If you've heard about a, the older the violin, the sweeter the tune, or the older the fiddle, the sweeter the music, or the better the music, that's over time, at the cellular level, uh, they get what they call torification. The resins in there get hard and uh, it has a better tone. You can speed up the process through heat and that's what I do on the belly side of some wood bows. And uh, it increases the, uh, the, the draw weight of the bow. Uh, this is a self bow, so this wood right here is just immediately under the bark. And this is what they call the back of the bow. This bow has growth rings that are violated on the outside. It's called string runout. Uh, you don't want run out on an axe handle. The reason string it, run out or grain run out. Grain run out. I'm sorry. Yeah, grain run out. Uh, and this one <laughs> has a bunch of it, but uh, so far it's held. It's got a big gash in here too in the lower limb. I don't know if that's what happened when when the tree was climbed. It's a gaff went there. Or it got hit by something. But I figure, well, I'll just make a self bow out of it. It's just one piece of wood. Uh, this grip is parachute cord, but I pull the centers out of them so that when you wrap the grip area, it lays flat on there. And this is uh, the arrow rest uh, and the arrow pass. That's a, a gopher snake skin that I've glued on there for a pass. And there was a knot hole that went clear through the upper limb. The reason this is dark I had to use a heat gun and heat this part of the limb up and bend it back that way as best I could because it really went off to the left. Conversely, the bottom limb goes off to the right. So they kind of offset each other. When the bow is strung, the string lies right in the middle of the handle, which is good. Uh, you can see the ants coming out of the hole here. I took a little liberty there for doing that. And on the belly side of each knock at the limb tip, I've just drawn a little feather decoration. This is the upper limb. This is the, the lower limb right there. This is a three-fold cord. It's three groups of five of Dacron B55. And uh, sometimes on a Flemish twist string, which this is, a lot of people do them just with two groups. And uh, I like using three groups. If you look late, I think in chapter 10 of the book of Ecclesiastes, it says a threefold cord is not soon broken. So I think that can apply to a bowstring. This is a threefold cord. This bow is pecan. It pulls 41 pounds at 27 inches, and it's 64 inches from knock to knock. So that's the length of it. Any questions? <laughs> uh, they might have questions. I have a question for whoever sent me a request or uh, an opportunity for a bow made in the UK. I lost the email. He wanted to trade a saddle for a bow, and I, I would, I would love to, but sure. I lost the email of the guy, and I've oh. searched and searched. Anyway, you gonna shoot it? Okay. We just happen to have a turkey waiting patiently over there. <laughs> I gotta take my glasses off too. I can't shoot properly with them. And we got a turkey right there. I think that kind of scared his tail feathers a little. Let me shoot one more and see if I can bring it down and forward a little. Well, it shoots consistent. Nice group. <laughs> Maybe I'm consistent, I don't know. A little high and left.
Try to follow through more this time. Okay. So I'm gonna shoot off my hand because I'm shooting left-handed. Gotta turn the hat backwards. Dead turkey. <laughs> Ooh, look at that in the kill. Very good. Yeah, here. Very good. Well, I like it. It works good. Well, it looks good at full draw, too. I like the, the till on it. All right. Thanks, Mr. Hunnicky. <laughs> YouTube. You're welcome. Thank Mr. Hunnicky. You're welcome. All right.